Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Psycho Sim Project here on Total Metal Radio. I am here with Scrinkles from Scrinkles Metal Asylum, and today we are interviewing Rene from Equilibrium. How are you doing? Hello, yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Fantastic. So we'll start. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, so far, how's the tour been going? Yeah, pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's, I think it's the fifth show today, and we had a really nice start in Germany. We played some shows in Germany, and now we, it's the first, now the second show. Uh, in, in different countries around Germany. Yesterday we were in Belgium and tomorrow it goes to Paris and yeah and we're looking, looking forward to the show tonight because yeah I think it's uh, maybe the second or the third yeah the, the third time that we play in England yeah and yeah we're li- looking forward to it. Fantastic. Okay um, how's the new material been going down live? Um, it's, it's really fun it really makes fun to play the new songs because um, this time I wrote the new album really uh, with the thoughts to play them live, you know, not just as writing music, writing music, and this time also really how would it feel to play these songs live. And I think it really worked because they are not too complicated on, uh, and, and, and also sometimes more groovy, and, and, and I think it, it, it works pretty good or well. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, how would you describe the sound, your sound, to people who have never heard you before? Um, well, I would say, of course, in general, it's, it's metal combined with folkish and bombastic orchestral elements and with really rough vocals. <laughs> great, great. Okay. Um, how do you feel the... I'm going to apologise if I pronounce this wrong. Um, how do you feel Erden Temple shows the evolution of the band compared to the sound you had back on Tourist Frutia? Uh, yeah, you pronounce it... Uh, uh, right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <thank> right. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to spot that right <laughs> um, I would say, um, I would say, of course, it still has influences that we always have, like, as I said, the folkish and orchestral influences. But I think the songs are a little bit more straightforward, and I think that each song is concentrated more on one feeling, one uh, one expression. You know, sometimes uh, on on older songs we have songs that are really full packed with this and that and, st- and it, it was I think sometimes uh, it was maybe too much uh, and this time I wanted to try to write also a lot of songs but each song with uh, one direction and yeah so I think yeah. that's the main and and what also is new is that we've used uh, more uh, clean vocals yeah also. yeah great great are there any plans to do a full UK tour or visiting the UK anytime after this tour of course, it would be nice. I mean, it's uh, of course England or Great Britain is not only London, <laughs> so uh, there would be maybe a lot of nice other cities where we could go on tour. Um, mainly, we've played in Germany and the countries around Germany, and uh, especially next year we want to focus a little bit on other countries also. So maybe there will be also opportunities to come to play more shows here also. Okay, um, have you been getting on with the other bands on this tour? Um, the other bands are really great. I mean. Um, Northgard uh, has, uh, as you maybe know, the, the same guitarist, uh, or this, the guitarist and singer of Northgard is also the guitarist yeah. now of Equilibrium, so we are already uh, good friends, of course, and they are they come from near uh, where I live, also Bavaria, and uh, Trolf is a really nice guy. I mean, you might think that they are so maybe crazy, blah, 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 like the music, <laughs> but actually they are crazy in some way, but really friendly and nice and helpful, and uh, I think we have a really nice group in the bus. Excellent. To anybody who's never seen you live before, how would you describe your live shows? <laughs> um, I would say sometimes it's, it differs from show to show, um, but in general I would say it, it's uh, somehow energetic, um, it's funny, uh, because Rob, Rob, Rob Star, our singer, he really likes to make jokes on stage, and that e- where even we, the, the other musicians on stage, really have just to laugh. I, I, I don't know, he's so spontaneous. Um, I don't know if, uh, if, we, if, if this works also in, um, in other countries because uh, his main language of course is German and there's you really uh, talented with working this language. Of course English is a little bit uh, a challenge for him but <laughs> I think we will uh, also manage it. Yeah so um, and usually when the crowd is cool then yeah then this you know comes together and it's, it's full of energy and fun. Okay excellent. Um, what are the creative processes that go into the songwriting? Um, well, mainly uh, at the beginning, you know, it's just like images in the brain, you know, from landscapes, from from maybe even buildings. Uh, but but my, but mainly it's our na- nature elements, you know, and 
the, so the atmosphere from this for the song comes and then there comes more human feelings like, like emotions you know like, like like hate or love or power or braveness or destruction those things and this come then together and will also find its uh, expression in the lyrics so yeah these are the main influences uh, in contrast to the first albums where all the, our own uh, mo uh, mainly influences lyrical wise were from you know uh, mythology and those yeah. things but for with the new songs we got much more personal stuff inside okay um, do you have any interesting stories from previous tours or <laughs> anything a fan <laughs> ever <laughs> done? <laughs> uh, I think I think uh, I mean even though we are all only like five days on tour now it happens so much you know <laughs> like uh, on, on the first day our uh, our our bus was broken so we, we it has to be fixed and also on the first day we met, we've met a well-known comedian and from Germany who uh, who actually is a Equipron fan and we were really wow we look we, we know you from the television so, and you're here and it was really uh, great and then yeah I think uh, our, our bus player she, she's lost uh, her shoes and she was really sad but now she's fine again and we've lost a mobile phone and uh, yesterday uh, people from the club <laughs> somehow find out the, the, the pin number of our bus and went into the bus yeah and yeah today we had really problems to get to uh, to uh, to England because uh, we had problems with, with visa you know in France to, yeah. to get to the ferry and yeah so these small things it's been <laughs> eventful basically yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, where do you feel equilibrium feel fit so into the whole sort of folk metal scene how, how it fits to the scene yeah how you fit um, well, I think, uh, you know, when we started, um, there, there were a lot of bands, you know, uh, in this genre, uh, I remember it, it, beca it, it became uh, rapidly very uh, popular in Germany, you know, we had our first tour in 2008 mm -hmm. with bands like Fintron and Elevati and it was, it was so huge and everywhere were these bands grown and I think nowadays it's uh, a little bit less now, but these bands from the beginning, I have the feeling, are still there, you know, like Enziferum, Teresa, Fintron, Elevati, also Equilibrium, Aelstorm and uh, all the others. So it, it's. Uh, I'm really happy that these bands are still there. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I think this this type of music now has its uh, its its point in the scene. You know, like years ago, when like for example this more symphonic black metal came, yeah. like Cradle of Filth and Dimo Borgia, or this uh, female fronted metal. I think all these styles now have been established, and and we will see what will come next. <laughs> <laughs> but Equilibrium, I think, has its uh, has its a part, its position now. Have you started compiling any ideas about the direction for the next I um, album? Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, usually, uh, when, I, when I write the songs for an album, there are uh, ideas I already involved that don't come to this album now, where I say, okay, maybe for the next album. So some ideas are already there, but um, right now it's to say uh, what direction it would uh, get because, yeah, we just released uh, the album, so I think next year I will start writing with new stuff. And then maybe I could say more <laughs> about this. <laughs> okay. Um, finally, anything you would like to say to the fans who are listening tonight? Yeah. Well, we're just uh, really looking forward to meet these fans. I mean, uh, with Facebook, uh, it's it's really easy to get in contact with the fans. You know, also from other countries, and they're writing to us, and we have the possibility to write them back. And yeah, it's really fun. You know, to come to other countries where there are people who know your music and who, who have fun with you so we are really looking forward and we just can say thank you to all the fans who are supporting us okay well Renee thank you for joining us on the show tonight ladies and gentlemen Renee of Equilibrium thank you thank you <laughs>